Michael Kors has entered the smartwatch market with a line of luxury watches called Michael Kors Access. Right now, that consists of two watches, the Bradshaw and the Dylan. Both watches focus on design and fashion, featuring a metal casing and support for a variety of different bands, including rubber, leather, and metal. On the side is what appears to be a traditional watch crown, but it doesn't spin and it's really just a button. And just like on the Moto 360, there is a black bar at the bottom of the display for the ambient light sensor. This creates a flat tire look that I'm not a big fan of, although the Bradshaw does do a better job of hiding it than the Dylan. As for the software, it's plain old Android Wear, and at this point you either like it or you don't, but both watches will be updated to Android Wear 2.0 later this year. Michael Kors did include a variety of unique and customizable watch faces, many of which I really do like. You can also set the watch to automatically change that watch face based on the time of day. So you can have something a little more traditional at the office, but after 6pm the watch face will change to something a little more fun. As for tech specs, both watches are powered by the Snapdragon Wear 2100 chip and feature a screen resolution of 320 by 290 pixels, although it's not as sharp as some other watches we have seen. Battery life is decent, you should get about 2 days, which is pretty standard. The charger is actually really funny, it's a magnetic dock that looks nearly identical to the Apple Watch charger. Overall, the watches look nice and I think they would be good for someone who wants a smartwatch that doesn't really look like a smartwatch, but for me they are just too heavy and way too big. With that said, I still prefer the Moto 360 and Huawei watch. The Michael Kors Access smartwatches are available now for $350. For more information, check out my full write-up over at CNET.com. Talk, talk, talk.